It has been a long time since Windows 8 has been released, but here's the question. Does Windows 8 need an antivirus? You'll find out the answer towards the end of this video. So to get started, let me introduce you to this machine. This is a brand new installation of Windows 8. It hasn't got any security programs installed, and uh, but it's fully up to date. It's got the latest patches, and it's got Windows Defender fully up to date and uh, this is Windows 8 Pro 64-bit and uh, well that's all you need to know and the way we'll be doing this test is uh, through a sandbox browser I'm going to use Sandboxy to sandbox the browser and we'll be running the test inside that because this is not a virtual machine this is a real machine running right off a hard disk so anything that gets in memory is a miss but before we get started, let me show you that this computer is fully up to date. You can see we've got the latest updates. We do not need any more patches. All the vulnerabilities, at least the known vulnerabilities, have been patched. So this is how you should run your PC if you're using Windows 8. I mean, most people do, I guess. Unless you're really stupid, you don't ever update your computer. But uh, this is how I'd run it, so that's how we'll be doing the test. Now let me also open up Windows Defender I guess Windows Defender and uh, let me show you that this thing is up to date. Basically that update does this one as well but I just showed you to be sure. Now this is basically Security Essentials the one that you can get for Windows 7 this is in Windows 8 it comes integrated with it as Windows Defender so let's see what all this can do against some zero-day malware. This is what everybody hates. And let's see if... Let me show you that the smart screen filter is turned on as well. There you go, it's turned on. So let's get started. First one's uh, Trojan. And it got caught by both smart screen filter and Windows Defender. Number two got cut as well. Here's one more. Let's see if Windows 8 can face the onslaught of about 10 or 15 of these. So far, it has fared very well. Everything has been cut. Now, this is a big file. But uh, we're not going to have to download it. That's good. You can see it got caught. There's some other big file. And uh, we're going to have to download it. Mod.txt. Since when do you have mods coming in text formats? Never mind, that was just malware forgot. Okay, here's one more. New boss 3.exe. That's why I say, I mean, looking at these names, you can basically just get rid of the malware just by looking at the names. Look at these names. ikb.exe. Why would anybody want these? But you don't have to bother if you don't read the names anyway, because Windows is going to take care of these things file.exe wow this you, you can't say something wrong about this they're totally being fair by saying that it's file.exe cuz it's a file can't deny that here's one more and looks like it got caught as well but it's asking me for administrator account username and password and it says it's basically smart screen filter prevented an unrecognized application from starting. So let's try the last one. And well this one got blocked as well. So that's really good. Everything got cut and blocked. 
if this was Windows 7, we'd be terribly infected by now and, you know, it would just be, this computer wouldn't be usable anymore. But thanks to the protection, default protection of Windows 8, this PC hasn't got a scratch on it. So that's really impressive, but there's still some ransomware and stuff that may still get through. So here I've got some stuff. Now I've got a nice free software here. It's Komodo Firewall. You can download it. It's fully free and compatible with Windows 8. And what this is going to do is basically if anything uh, does get through Smart Screen Filter and uh, you know Windows Defender even if some piece of malware gets through because both of these components are fully signature based so they don't have any kind of uh, intrusion prevention or uh, behavioral protection so what this will do is basically if anything does get by these components it will add an additional layer of security and once you put this in along with the basic protection that you do get you're pretty much not going to ever get infected so here's one more program that I really like in case you didn't like the last one it's private firewall I've tested this and it did really well so I'll be recommending this and uh, you can run this along with Windows 8 as well and you should have no problems and it's going to block anything that is pretty much missed by you know the basic protection now it's highly unlikely that you might even get infected after all this I mean it's really unlikely but even if you do I'd recommend you keep something like Hitman Pro or Malwarebytes even and uh, you keep scanning your PC regularly and you should have no trouble now this is payware but you can get the free one and keep scanning and if it ever finds something you can basically just pay for the license and get it removed but trust me I mean unless you really get go run into some kind of malware totally off the charts uh, which is really unlikely you're not going to get infected with you know the basic protection and either one of the, these two firewall programs so that's what I recommend and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video Windows 8 does not need more basic antivirus protection so that's the answer and uh, subscribe and thanks for watching